<laughs> this week was my first week of school since the summer holidays when I found myself more acquainted with the destiny material. When I first started exploring the destiny material. Uh, so this week I learned about, in real time I learned about the sheer importance of breath and stabilizing yourself before doing any walking and let alone walking effectively in your process, in my process. I've done self-forgiveness quite intensively in the beginning. Yet reflecting up on it now, it it helped. Yet I would have moved much faster if I concentrated. Yeah, I concentrated on breathing and sensing, physically sensing what is here in my reality and I've discovered for myself that the very, very, very first step to walking this process of aligning oneself to equality and oneness on a practical scale is breathing and experimenting and practicing in real time what it means to live the statement I am here or I remain here as breath when I first started breathing, being aware of my breathing, <laughs> uh, at first it was extremely awkward and alien because up until that point I was so used to being tugged along by outside influences that Suddenly, not being tugged along, I would think, what the hell should I do now? Like, what direction will I walk towards? And at first there was a fear, and I retreated back to my thoughts. What I did with that point was keep on banging my head on the door, so to speak, the door to self-realization. I just pushed and pushed and kept on hitting my head on the door by breathing, remaining here, getting afraid, you know, retreating back in my mind, repeat. And that cycled for about five times before I was at least comfortable with being here as my physical human body and my focus being in physical reality instead of always dreaming in my head. God. Now that I reflect upon all of my experiences with thoughts the feeling was always the same like this really vague feeling of gratification due to being stimulated by my thoughts it was always that same feeling of being gratified and satisfied, being complacent within my mind, you're feeling 
okay with only dreaming about what I could be instead of moving myself physically to be that future me by applying myself here. So also this first week of school I walked through and pushed through the point of being afraid of what other people may think and how I did that was I read through it and wrote and spoke aloud self-forgiveness and did self-forgiveness in the moment to reveal to myself how that entire experience of being afraid of what other people think of me is fake and is all generated by me by all of by the building blocks of belief, fear and judgment that uh, that was fun <laughs> that was it's very fun to walk process when you see yourself immediately experiencing yourself differently as soon as you transcend the point and what process what walking this process reminds me of is you know, physics from a quantum level to a more in, into a bigger picture because at school I learned that at a quantum level things move up in steps instead of gradually and only when you see it in the big picture does it look like a steady gradual change so that I feel that analogy fits process very well in that we change ourselves immediately it's either a yes or no to a thought and we change ourselves immediately it's every here moment like on a quantum level in physics and it's only when you've walked a certain distance walked for a certain period of time stable and constant in your application that you see yourself gradually change and you see how all of your uh, quantum realization added up to make yourself more free when I transcend a point I feel like I have more I have it's it's like a weight being discarded from me I feel lighter and not so limited to a few choices and that would be the reason why I find process fun whereas the reason for walking this process is because I am not living the nature of myself and I know that I cannot escape the nature of myself
and what motivated me to do process mainly was the point of empathy and compassion when I know that thousands of people who feel like me are dying every day because of forced starvation and poverty and if I place myself in any of their shoes or not even those people that are dying, those people that are suffering I can't I cannot bear the experience of living with that sort of burden you know, the, with the burden of the realization that I am living at the expense of other people suffering unbearably Ah, oh, my left eye is twitching. Nothing more needs to be said. Thank you for watching.